Hi there, and welcome to the Accuracy International Stand. I'm here with Dave, and he's going to give us a rundown on the ATX and 6.5 Creedmoor, some of the features of what is uh, the latest in their line of rifles, long-range rifles. Dave, where would you like to start? Let's start with... Should we start with the action? Yeah, let's go with the action and perhaps look at this new trigger. As you say, it's yeah, a yeah. competition trigger, yeah. standard. The, the, ac the action on the new rifle is the AT Accuracy International Action. It's the quick release barrel system. Uh, it departs from the norm in that this one is now running the competition trigger, which is a lot lighter than the standard AI trigger. Um, it comes with a variety of springs to take it down to probably around six ounce if required. Very lightweight to a very lightweight pull first and second stage. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as I've mentioned already, it's a standard action. Uh, it's the same firing pin and bolt as the AT. Um, Quick release barrel, moving on to the barrel. The barrel is built now in house at Accurate International. Um, it's a 6.5 Creedmoor, 24 inch finished. It has a 5H by 24 UNEF muzzle thread to accommodate brakes or silences. Um, spanner flats, if you get a warm barrel, you need to remove it a little bit. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Normally they just screw it on hand tight and then you use a torque wrench on the adjuster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a new profile for Accuracy International, you can't see it because of the shroud. Um, it's more of a mid-weight barrel, the more, there's more weight there than there is normally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's quite a fatter profile at the front than there used to be. And um, is there a plan to do uh, six mil barrel as well or is that something I'm as not an option? I'll be honest, I'm not sure. No. Uh, it, it is possibly a factory option in the future, if, if there will be one, it's probably six mil cream. Uh, again, they can be made as an aftermarket etc. Yeah, yeah. But it's not generally available. This is the full length shroud. Uh, we also do a half length one. Right. Okay. Uh, depending on what the customers want. Which will take the top rails for night vision or anything like that. Yeah. If yeah. it's needed. Um, moving on to the stock. Um, as you can see, it has the Arca system. If you want to put a Harris bipod or anything like that on as a standard way, you can put the old uh, Harris bipod mount in any of those keys that's underneath. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Uh, but it's a shame not to take a bunch yeah, of the system got it, why not? because yeah. you know you can just slide it. Um, the benefits of obviously Arca is you can do that when well, you don't get it stuck. <laughs> yeah, lock it down again. Yeah. Which is very handy on a barricade if you need to just slide the gun through. Yeah. You feel like that. Again, it's a camera fitting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, it's a camera yeah. fitting. Yeah. Right? Come from the camera world. Yeah. 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 So, uh, um, and obviously it can accommodate the wide variety of bags, plates, the, the lads shooting PR and things like that, yeah. um, It has got a barricade stop on, yep, jamming up hard, yeah. yep. um, takes the standard Accuracy International 10 round magazines, yep. the AT, the AX magazines, the one with the leak on, goes in there, um, ambidextrous paddle. Does it ship left and right or is it just right at the moment? It's just right handed, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to the pistol grip, it's a standard AR-15 beaver tail style grip, which means you can actually use a beaver tail one or you can use the one with the foot that's fitted to that one. So can you fit any AR-15? You can fit any AR-15 yeah. trick, uh, sorry, AR-15 grip to it, yeah. of which there are literally hundreds. Yeah, you know, there's, yeah. there's one size to fit everybody. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Um, you've got flush cut mounts there. See that? There are a few swivels. One there. Touch a sling from the back. Touch yeah. a sling, yeah. There's also one on the back there, one on the back there. And a bit of uh, Picatinny for a bag rider. That's right, a bit of Picatinny for your bag rider. You've got the, the fully adjustable front and fully adjustable front down, and back, yeah. So we've got a target pad on it. So we can count it as well. Yeah, yeah. and count it, you right. can lift it. Multi-adjustable, yeah. you can make it for you. Splendid, well we've covered the rifle uh, very briefly in the past when on the launch event, but uh, I'm sure we'll be getting this in and uh, testing it in the uh, upcoming issue of Rifle Shooter. So uh, there you go, enjoy. Thanks Explain. for your time. Thank you. Cheers, fella. Thank you. We're here again on the Accuracy International stand. Um, before we leave the stand completely, we've got a brand new product. This is a new chassis for the Tika T3X. 
and they also do it for the, uh, the rimfire tinker. So Alice here is going to give us a bit of a, a guided tour of the uh, two chassis and uh, obviously the brand new one that's launching today. So we've done a, a new chassis system for the T3 and it runs with an AI magazine um, but it is not sold with the magazine. Right. And then we have a dedicated shorter forend for as you can see if we put them next to each other. The forend is actually shorter and it has a smaller inlet underneath for so the, for the T1X for the magazine. Correct. And the 17, yeah. Yes, exactly. And will it work on the, the 22 and the 17 variants? I imagine it would be yes, the, same it should be the same It's the same yes. bedding, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And as for this new one, what calibre is this one in? This? That one's in 308. This is a 308. But you could have any similar in yes. that calibre range yes. because they all, it will be the same yes. bedding. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, any other little features on here we need to know about? So it's, it's showing the new ATX chassis system, so yeah. the same features as on the ATX rifle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's um, with our chassis system. The back end on these is actually the previous one. The, what they will be sold with will be the new. Uh, Turn screw uh, adjustment, adjustment system quick on adjustment that one. System. Yes. That's well, hopefully we'll be getting all these uh, chassis in for review over the, uh, the coming months in Rifle Shooter, and uh, yeah, we we'll get to try them out. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.